Ange Postacoglu, congratulations. Thanks, thanks. My, my only words to you are always congratulations. Thank you, mate. Okay. Thank you, mate. Well done, you okay? Thank you, mate. Well yeah, come on in, Ange. Well, I've just said it there. Congratulations. You've been, you know, it, it's been spoken about for a long time. How does it feel to finally have secured um, the treble? Yeah, no, it's a um, mixture of sort of huge relief and, and just great pride in and, um, and the whole group. I mean, it's, it's been a phenomenal effort from the lads this year. Um, you know, coming off the back of last year when, you know, fair to say, it was unexpected, the, you know, the double we got. Mm. This is the one trophy that eluded us and um, you know, we, we kind of made it our aim and ambition this year to be better than we were last year, stronger, and that meant filling the gap that, that was there and uh, yeah, credit to the boys, they've been outstanding. And you've spoken about this in so much detail about just what the Scottish Cup means to you. I mean, how does it feel standing here now, hoping yeah. and knowing that there'll be kids in Australia watching this up in the middle of the night like you used to do? Yeah, no, it's, um, it, it is surreal. I, you know, I, I pinch myself in times to, to think that um, yeah, I'm the one out there. It's, it's usually me on the other side of the fence or watching on the TV screen. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's a great feeling and, um, you know, great to have my family here, my kids here, and, and they get to see it. And, and um, yeah, it's been a hell of a journey to get to this spot. And, uh, yeah, it's bizarre how I've landed here, but I have. And it was one last push from your players today for the season. And Inverness, and the, you know, to be fair yeah. to them, equipped themselves well. Look, it's a cup final. Mm. and. Uh, you know, whenever there's a, a massive underdog, you, you kind of know you don't want to be the story on the other end of it. And uh, I thought we were a little bit nervous at times mm -hmm. today. We tried to force things. You know, we were in control of the game, but, you know, we had to settle down a little bit. The goal helped us do that, keep our football simple. But uh, credit to Inverness. Um, you know, they had a go at us. They tried to stop us. But, again, the beauty about this team is that, you know, whatever the challenge is out there, they'll find a way to find to get through. And, you know, you had to call on all of your players to do it, but you look at your recruitment, you look at what you've achieved, and Martin said it, we, we say congratulations to you so often, but did you envisage achieving this level of success in the period of time that it's happened? Look, I, I didn't have any clear sort of ambitions and goal apart from I knew we had to have success. I knew we had to have success quickly at this football club, particularly coming off a, a trophy this season, and I wasn't going to put a limit on how far we could go. So, you know, I, I keep telling the lads that, you know, whatever... Whatever limit we've reached, our job is to keep pushing, keep pushing on, see what we can do. And, and you know, the, the core of this team from last year to this year, I mean, the three goal scorers today were pretty much one of the first three I signed last year, you know, that front three. And it's been incredible. But along the way, everyone's contributed. And we've had to have contributions from everyone. Mm -hmm. Firstly, I want to thank you from a neutral's point of view for the football you've exposed us to over the last two years because it's been fantastic to watch and something I've not seen in eight years of being up here. How long have you coached teams in this way or did you come into Celtic and knew the players could do this or is it something you've done for a long time? Uh, sort of always had you know, the underlying principles of, I think every manager does, of how he wants his teams to play, Marvin, but mm -hmm. as the game changes, you need to evolve. I mean, I've been doing this for 26 years, so the game looks a lot different today than when I first started managing. And, the idea is that you know you, you maintain your core principles, what you believe in, what you feel is is you as a person, because ultimately you've got to be genuine. And then as the game evolves, you've got to stay a step ahead of it. And you know when I came here, I kind of knew you know what the picture of what I wanted to do in terms of the way the team could play. And I guess the the opportunity for me was that really the team had been dismantled, so it wasn't a total blank sheet of paper. But I, I could really build a team in the image of of the football I wanted to play and. You know, that, that was the opportunity. The risk was, if I got it wrong, it would be a disaster. You know? <laughs> so, uh, fortunately, I got it right. We're going to have to stop filibustering. Everybody wants you to stay at the football club. <laughs> Everybody wants you to stay at the football club. All right, OK. I appreciate yeah. that. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Martin. Have you got much planned for the next few days? I'm going on holidays on Tuesday. I cannot <laughs> wait. Um, take the family away. And uh, it's, it's felt like a long season. And I think mm -hmm. because of the World Cup. I mean, you have to remember, some of our boys are at a World Cup mid-season mm -hmm. i mean it's it's crazy the the levels they've reached considering you know the, the the demands on them this year and um you know i think for all of us and you can see in our performances sort of the last four or five weeks you know the boys are getting close to to being on empty and um i think we all we all need a good break and i think the fans want to know i know there's been a lot of talk this week i know mm. you didn't want to talk about it until the game was done but yeah. you know will you be here next season or or is your future now something you have to consider Again, Emma, I, I didn't want to talk about it before and I didn't say I'd talk about it after. What I want to do is I want to enjoy this mm -hmm. because, um, and it's, you know, people might think it's selfish of me, but I'm not thinking of talking about anything else, but, you know, 
to do what we've done today. Um, you know, just take a little chunk of history for ourselves at this unbelievable football club with unbelievable success. I owe it to my family, my loved ones, everyone around me to, to enjoy this and not, and not talk about other things. Um, there'll be time for that and uh, it's not today. Do you feel there's still unfinished business here though? More to achieve? There's always more to achieve in everything. I think the day I wake up and say I've done everything I need to do, then uh, I may as well just uh, pack it all up. Um, I've been the same from the first day I started doing this. I, I love what I do. I'm passionate about it. Um, I want to be, you know, create think teams that are special and, and mm. be part of special moments, and that's what I'll try and do. And what about Tottenham? Any contact directly or indirectly? See, again, Emma, you, you're talking about things that are taking me away from enjoying this moment, and I'm not going to let that happen. Fair play. Enjoy a few cold ones tonight. Oh, absolutely. And a <laughs> couple of warm ones as well. So, yeah, no worries. All good. And just been a pleasure. Thank well you. done again. Thanks, Thanks so much. Brilliant. Thank you, Legend. Brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks, Mark.